I remain long on Bitcoin and looking for higher prices to come. Inside of this video, I'm going to be telling you the exact targets that I have for the trades, why I am not in a short trade here and I've taken no short trade from the past week. Um, you know, I've made my plan. I am now trading my plan and sticking to it most importantly. So I want to make you all fully aware of that plan as well as educate you uh, and give you some really insights, uh, really good insights into the market and the way I am viewing it right now. So, uh, you know, pay close attention. It's uh, it's not often I miss this market and I get it wrong. So, uh, you know, let's see this winning streak continue and, uh, you know, let's make some profits together once again, right? So, uh, I'll give you a quick two minute recap because it has been, you know, over a week, I think, since I made my last uh, free public YouTube video here. So uh, let's do a quick recap. Of course, over the past you know month or two, I've been very higher term time frame bearish, you know, making it clear I'm going to short any rise we get until we hit some lower targets. First lower target, of course, I had was actually the NPOC target at uh, 24,851. Okay, so during the whole course of this, you know, actually got a lovely short to the upside around the end of August, um, you know, for a over a 10% drop to the downside to hit that NPOC. And, you know, while that was an untapped level, you know, I'm making it very clear, right? My bias was short and chill, short and rise. Lower prices will come. We are going to hit this target. And then we got that drop to the downside. And that's when it's okay. We've now got the drop we wanted. We've now tested the target, got a reaction, switched the bias. It then became Bitcoin long and I expect higher prices to come. This was my last video. And here we are <laughs> one week later coming up towards the higher end POC now at 27,187. So we've actually seen now a full uh, rotation, as we can see, but we had two levels on our chart back here. The lower end POC, we're now getting that full rotation up to the higher end POC. And, uh, you know, it's like I've been making it clear to my team as well as, you know, the, the, the members I can see they're doing very well as well. It's, uh, you know, as we were coming up now to this NPC, you know, I'm telling myself I'm not shorting this any Bitcoin retests. I'm looking for new highs to be made. OK, I'm remaining the long trade from the swing fire pattern off of that NPOC down there at 24K and not in any short trades here locally. Looking for a new weekly high to be made, taking out Tuesday's high as we continue our way up towards this higher NPOC. OK, so you can understand, you know, one thing that I just really want to lock into everybody's brains. It might be simple for some, but for others, it's confusing. So I just want to lock into your brain the the need of, you know, you want to become a successful trader, right? You watch these videos because you want to make money trading. It's, it's as simple as that. How do you make money trading? It's by making a plan, trading the plan. OK, you need to formulate ideas based off your technical analysis and execute. OK, when it comes down to your target areas and know when to switch from bullish to bearish, OK, or bearish to bullish, just as we were bearish looking for lower. We had made that clear. We had very strong targets and, you know, bias for lower prices. We get over a 10 percent drop to the downside, hit that target, and then we're able to switch from bearish into bullish and looking for higher. OK, and you can you, we all know now, looking back, how that played out, how we did come lower and now we are coming higher. And it's not only myself that, of course, managed to, you know, make some decent profits on this, but also you can see the champions who have come in, learned the content. They're able to make this very similar trades as myself. You can see here are a few examples. I'd love to retweet over on Twitter uh, or X now, as it's called, right? But you can see similar entries around $26,000 on the short down to long trades at around that $24,000. Um, you know, it's a similar story. And what I'm really emphasizing here is, you know, it's just it's not just me that's able to, you know, make lovely profits on these type of moves. But once you've really studied the content, you understand trading, you understand the theory, you you know how the market moves and why the market moves. You start to really, you know, unlock this next level of intuition, right? Because that's what it's all about is that, that level of understanding and intuition that the market is not random. It's not it's not coming down to random levels and bouncing and, and moving off of the random, you know, there's nothing random in this market. Everything is controlled. Everything is under the realm of technical analysis, right? So, you know, two levels on the chart, there's no randomness that we made our way down to this NPOC, got a lovely SFP, and now we're making our way up to the higher NPOC, right? So it's just the way the market works. And when you understand it, you can definitely make lovely profits alongside us. OK, so, you know, going back to intuition, 
just like to tap tap on this for 30 seconds before I move on to exactly what I'm looking at next. But, you know, what I mean by the intuition here is we had some bearish divergences forming on a retest. We formed an SFP. If you can actually remember back, we formed this SFP here. Thank you for this previous high. And then we formed bearish divergences on the retest. But even though we're seeing bearish divergences onto an NPOC, okay, which many would read as bearish, they would read that as bearish because it is, it is technically bearish. You know, I went for my gut feeling, which was uh, I am remaining bullish and expect a higher prices to come. So although we saw the retest of the high with bearish CVD divergences, uh, offers of a swing failure pattern. This is genuinely like a short that we would be taking like 95% of the time. That is a short trade. But then I'm using my intuition to recognize that this time I'm not going to short this. This time I am remaining bullish. And, you know, so I mean, like, would you trade against my intuition? You know, I don't mean this to brag or show off. I just truly mean this, that, you know, I have a good reading of this market. I've, you know, I've been doing it, been doing trading for 13 years. Right? I've, I've got, you know, I've, I've done my time and experience necessary to, you know, read this market well. Um, so my reading of this market right now, when I look at things on the order flow that we're seeing right now, when I look at things such as, you know, reading the tape coming in here and, and, and seeing the orders, the volume and the way the market is being drawn towards at the moment, I have no reason not to believe we're not going to make our way higher to this NPOC currently. Uh, one thing that I would like to really make you aware of here is the fact that we are building up this, what I would refer to it as quite uh, dangerous um, market structure. So we can see here we're making continuous higher lows. Okay, these higher lows are being built up very nicely. And we're making, of course, higher highs up of here, higher, high, higher, high, higher, high, now another higher high. So the main thing that I want to bring your attention to is these higher lows, right? Because we are in a scenario where we can get a very quick drop to the downside. So although I'm looking for higher, that doesn't mean I'm going to long right now. For me, this is not a long opportunity. It's not a short either. I wouldn't short yet. I'm, I would like to see higher for my uh, target to be here, of course. Um, but I wouldn't short here. Why? Because I'm looking for higher. But I also wouldn't long right now because this is a dangerous long based off the market structure that we could get higher and then get a quick large drop to the downside, like a boom, a very quick drop. So longing here with the target very close by is, is a dangerous trade. So um, that's one thing that you also need to recognize in trading. You you want to wait for high probability setups. Um, you know, you, we can see it live together, right? We we are getting that call correct thus far of, you know, remaining long, looking for higher. Of course, what we like to do is check in things such as the order flow as we're making our way up here. There's, we, we, we saw a lovely open interest increase as we're breaking above highs on open increase, open interest increases and high positive delta. That isn't a bearish factor until we hit targets and get them trapped. So we are very nicely coming up to this target as we can see live in the time. Maybe we'll even get the reaction off of this and I'm happy to analyze this with you on this uh, YouTube video. So you're, you're lucky because I don't normally do this on YouTube videos, but Hey, I'm happy to do it. If we hit this level together, I'll give you my exact insights on the order flow to say whether I'd take the short there, because there's always two things I'm looking for here. I recognize very high probability that I'm going to hit my target. Once that's targets hit, I look at the order flow and then make a decision of do I want to uh, short upon hitting that target or it's looking so strong. We hit my target. I do not take the short because I'm actually looking for my next target, level to level trading. This is my informed level where I make a decision. At the moment, my plan is we are coming up to hit this level. As I've been telling my team now for the past week, you know, I'm not short in any retests here. I am looking for higher. I want to see new highs made. This is my next target. This is my next high I'm looking for. And until that's hit, I'm not going to be taking a short. You know, that's my plan. So, um, you know, so a few things to really summarize here that I'd like to, you know, mention about the, the charts, um, you know, being able to switch from a bearish bias to a bullish bias. Once you've got a bearish bias and you've seen the drop, you don't need to hold on to that bearish bias any longer. It's time to update based off the new information and data that you have. Once you've got the lovely reaction, you know, take the trade, execute, look for higher, remain with that plan. And, you know, you know, you're able to, to make money then on the way back up. Once you're making money on the way back up, 
analyze the order flow. Are you seeing bearish CVD? Even though we saw bearish CVD here, you know, I still make it to my team. Clearly, I'm not going to be taking that short and I'm looking for higher to come. Here we are at 27,000. I'm not taking the short yet. I'm still looking for higher to come for my next target. I'm not going to trade uh, a, a um, short here based off the psychological. I'd like to at least see that NPOC tapped. So I'm able to make these decisions, remain calm. You know, we're seeing a relatively large move. Do you see me excited, fearful, emotional? No, I'm sticking to my plan. I'm analyzing the order flow. I'm seeing the data live as it comes in, into my eyes, and I'm able to make an informed decision. I'm not going to take that short yet. I'm going to wait for higher prices. Okay. When we hit this higher price, then that's where I make my decision. Shall I take a short now? Okay. And look for the reversal back down or is there no strong reaction? And I'll actually look for my next level to the upside and, and, and further on level to level trading, right? So that's the way that I that's the way that I trade. That's the way that we teach. Um, you know, I'll stay here for a few more minutes <laughs> to see if we can get this NPOC tapped on stream. That would be off stream, but this recording, that'd be very nice indeed. Uh, we'll give it a few minutes here. Well, I'd, I guess while we wait for this to come up to target, I'd just like to say really quickly, um, you know, uh, I've been pretty active over on on x sounds weird to say that but it's really nice to see people um seeing the changes that we've made on these videos not in just the videos but also in the way we interact on all socials and and in in uh, real life too so it's like real life <laughs> uh it's nice to see people are are really able to notice that uh, because i truly have actually made a conscious effort to uh improve my improve myself personally uh the way that i interact with people the way that i carry myself um, so it's really, it's really nice for me to see people are able to recognize that, to be honest. Um, you know, my, for me, it was, um, uh, yeah, I could go on for ages, right. But really simply for me, it was a thing of, uh, essentially maybe finding my purpose and, you know, my purpose truly is I've got a gift in trading. Uh, so let's use this gift, um, to, to give back. And I don't mean a gift like I was given something different than anyone else. We all have that technical ability. We all have that skill uh, to to become a successful trader. But of course, not everybody has that same uh, want. OK, because it's all well and good being able to do something, but you have to really want something. And so for me, maybe to, maybe I'm here in these videos to share my passion, give you some inspiration, uh, give you some trading setups. <laughs> Whatever your reason, you're clearly here for the right reason, and that is you want to improve. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I just want to help you on that journey of improving, of becoming a successful trader, of being able to change your life via trading. My purpose is in life. Uh, to be a trader, I've I've become a trader, and now I'm going to give back my skills. Uh, in the best way I see possible, and that's by uh, education and, and teaching you the ways, right? So, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure we're going to hit this target within the next few minutes. We're slightly below it, but, you know, for me, there's still nothing here on the order flow that screams, I'm going to short this with a front run. So this is the thing, right? Some people would be shorting now thinking, oh, we're going to front run the level. I have nothing, no reason in the order flow to think this is a front run. So the, the way I'd be looking for is a pullback is actually still like a scalp long opportunity until the target, right? So, um, yeah, this pullback that we're seeing here is, is a long opportunity for me. We could even come back to the view app before coming up to my target. You know, this is just me analyzing the order flow live in the time as we're seeing it. For me, there is absolutely nothing. Uh, nice, the nice sculpt trader chart to come in here is on a trend rev. Uh, yeah, for me, there's absolutely, I, I like to increase the ticks ever so slightly. So yeah, there's nothing bearish for here and at all. So a pullback for me is another long opportunity. Uh, even if we come back to the view, which would be kind of nice. Um, I would view that as the long. And this is this is quite a drop, but I would still view it as a long up until I hit my higher target, right? There's nothing bearish on the order flow. Um, so yeah, if you want to see more from myself, of course, I'm not doing that many uh, YouTube videos lately, right? So if you want to see more from myself and the rest of the team, you do get that via chartchampions.com. Uh, this is where we got daily videos, every single day live streams. It's where we got live trading, right? So if you want to see trades taken live in the time, the reasons, the stop losses, the targets, all that is under the live trading. We got dedicated altcoin streams, champion streams, uh, educational content, everything you want under the course, right? So, um, yeah. And of course, if you want the insights via our Discord, then that's where we post our. So where we post things like, you know, what we want to see, how it's how it's all playing out. 
you know, still back then there was no reason to short. Let's come up to the MPC and it's exactly what we're looking for now. So yeah, maybe if you want to understand order flow better, whatever you want, we're going to be having it covered because we cover everything to do with trading periods. So <laughs> yeah, if you want to see more from myself and the team, you know where to get that, chartchampions.com. Oh yeah, shout out to the competition. This is of course, now we're giving away money every month via our competition. So even if you are a successful trader, you can make even more profits on top of your profits via the new monthly competition money giveaway that we do as well. So uh, yeah, whatever you want, we got it for you, chartchampions.com. I'm going to sign out here and say thank you ever so much uh, as we're still pulling back ever so slightly from this level. I'm going to say thank you, everybody. Hope you've enjoyed. And I've waited around another 10 minutes. I really wanted to get this on video of us hitting the target so I can analyze it in the time for you just to see a little bit of insights of what you can uh, see in the group. But, you know, I've waited around 10 minutes and I don't think we're going to get it within the next 15. So for me, I'm going to go ahead and upload this video. And I'll just make you aware, if you do want to see the insights as we hit the level, like the first place you're going to get this is always uh, chartchampions.com in the Champions Discord. So I'll just say that if you want to see the insights uh, before anyone else, head over to the Champions Discord and I will give the first insight there of as we hit the target, which I'm fully expecting, whether I'll take the short off of that or whether I will not and actually remain long for the next target. At the moment, it's lining up very similar price action to what we saw down at the long of the MPOC. Remember here, we slightly front run, we come down for the SFP. Uh, we, of course, have a similar setup lining ourselves up here. Uh, but, you know, the way that I do this, looking here on the web, and I love to also view the uh, desktop application because here we also got some extra information, which is lovely to see under the trade, count, trade counts and time. Uh, when we combine that with looking at direct candles, you know, this is information for me that's, you know, invaluable when it comes to making that correct informed decision of, um, you know, analyzing the order flow of, do I look for an SFP short here or should I continue up for our next uh, level above us? But yeah, I, I apologize. I really wanted to get that on video for you <laughs> on a public video because it's not often I do that. Uh, but <laughs> we're going to run out of time. I'm going to upload this onto the uh, YouTube. And yeah, if you want more, you know where to get it over on the Discord. This is where you'll be updated first, as always. Cheers, everybody. Thank you. And uh, yeah, you want more? Chartchampions.com. Cheers and goodbye.